Hi, everyone. Welcome to Live Chat Tuesday on a Wednesday. Um, I'm Crystal the Yarning Chicken and Crazy Cat Lady. And uh, I want to welcome those that are watching on replay. And if you are here with me currently, leave me a comment in the chat. So yesterday I had to reschedule for today because we had to go out of town. And so I got back later than I thought I would. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, I hope everyone's doing good and uh, hope everyone had a wonderful Christmas. We had a pretty good Christmas. Um, my aunt came down from Missouri and her son. So... We had them here for a couple of days. And let's see. I got a um, clay rolling machine. I got a necklace from my brother. And let's see, what else did I get? I don't even know. <laughs> so... I guess I'll just wait till some people start coming in. Well, there's Anita. Um, Sabrina's going to be on with me next Tuesday. Uh, starting next year, I am going to be changing up my lineup. So instead of Sabrina being on the last Tuesday of the month, she's going to be on the first Tuesday. And I really don't know... Uh, what other schedule I know that I'm adding Melanie uh, with Lathalia's little hook with Melanie on the third Tuesday of the month. And then um, D is going to be on the second or third Friday of the month. So I'm kind of changing things up uh, just in case like some people that are used to Tuesdays can't make it you know, like say they work on a Tuesday and they're able to attend Friday, it gives them a different person that I'm with. So kind of just changing things up, new year, new, you know, lineup. And um, I'm also going to be getting a new haircut soon. So my whole family went to, for haircuts um, this past Thursday. My mom got her haircut real short, real <laughs> short. Um, my grandmother got it even more shorter than it was. My aunt got her, hers cut. Both of my aunts did. Um, and I'm going to be getting a haircut pretty soon. So probably this weekend I'll have a new hairdo. <laughs> so how are you doing, Anita? Did you have a good Christmas? And it's been really cold here the last couple of nights, actually the last week since that Arctic front came in. Oh, my gosh. It was in the teens one night. And uh, when my aunt was down from Missouri, Tom got scared off uh, by my cousin and he didn't show up for two nights. I was so worried about him. Hi, Ray's Yarn Addiction. How are you doing? Did you have a good Christmas? Anita did good and cold and lots of turkey. Oh, yum. We had uh, a spiral ham. We had some turkey. And what else did we have? Deviled eggs. We always have deviled eggs at Christmas and Thanksgiving. <laughs> She's glad it's over. <laughs> Um, let's see. What else did we have? I know we had some sugar-free cake, uh, cause my, my grandmother and my, my aunt are both diabetic, but they were really good. One was the devil's, uh, devil's food cake. And, uh, the other one was, uh, white cake with chocolate icing. So good. Even though it was sugar-free, it was still good. Um, let's see, what else did we have? I know I'm forgetting things. 
mashed potatoes and gravy, um, baked sweet potatoes. And I think my mom made some kind of pie. Maybe it was sweet potato pie. I don't remember. <clears throat> mm. Yeah, we were gone almost all day yesterday. I am, I am wore out. I don't like driving on the highway. And so when I drove back home, um, I took the back roads. <laughs> <laughs> A lot less stressful. <laughs> and we had to go um, about a 40-minute drive, I think. And that's where that good dollar general is. And I almost stopped there. And I said, no, I really don't need to stop it <laughs> and spend any more money. I'm not glad it's over. I didn't get into the Christmas spirit until Christmas Day. Oh, well, at least you did get the Christmas spirit. Hi, Kirsten. How are you? Did you have a good Christmas? Highways are scary. Yep, they are. They sure are. Especially uh, when there's construction going on. On our, our main highway, they have a lot of construction for like the majority of it. So it's always kind of scary, but we noticed on the northbound side, because we were going southbound, that traffic was backed up. And we're like, well, we're not going that way. <laughs> they were at a dead stop for like two or three miles. And I'm like, oh, no. Oh, your mom made you a quilt. Oh, how special. That's awesome. That is awesome, Anita. Christmas morning was fine, but dinner was another story. <laughs> Niece cooked and food poisoning all around. <gasps> oh my God, I, I hope y'all are okay. I, I've had food poisoning when I was little. I was about nine or 10, I think. And I ended up having to go to the hospital. It was that bad. And I got food poisoning from school. So I, I know exactly how that, how that is. My grandmother knows. So I can sympathize with you there. Yep, she never made them before, but she made one for each of her for four girls. Oh, that is so special, Anita. That is awesome. I know you are going to cherish it forever. Oh, well, I'm glad you're doing a little better and that your family's doing better, Kirsten. Uh, and I can understand <laughs> not wanting to look at the food. <laughs> Well, good morning or afternoon to you too, Laura Lee. Um, did you have a good Christmas, Laura Lee? It's red and white like peppermint. Aww. Are you? Did you show it on your channel yet, right? Uh, not Ray. I'm looking at Anita's comment. Uh, Anita. <laughs> I'm sorry. I am. I'm still working on my coffee this morning. It was kind of a rough night for me. I didn't sleep too well. Oh, that's great, Laura Lee. I'm glad. I'm glad you had a good Christmas. Nope, not yet. Okay, let me know when you do, because I definitely want want to see what it looks like. <laughs> yep, we're all curious about it now. <clears throat> With the, uh, ever since I had been sick, I've been 
slacking on watching YouTube videos. I need to catch up. I have a whole bunch of people's videos bookmarked to watch, and I just never seem to get around to it. I tried to start the um, the video, Anita, of um, your happy mail from Melanie, and I got interrupted. <laughs> so I, I'm going to try to go back and watch and see what you've got. I got as far as the rolling pin. <laughs> so... You spilled Pepsi. Hold on. The kids got me a new Kindle. I spilled Pepsi on my old one and lost sound. Well, that's sweet of them that they got you a new, um, a new uh, Kindle. I'm, I'm, I bet you're excited about that new device. Get to play with it and all that. Make sure I have this on live chat, not, okay, yeah. I didn't want to be missing anybody's comment. <laughs> and, you know, after I ended my last live, I had realized that I didn't play my um, thank you video of Tom. I think it was, like, last Tuesday, and I didn't, I didn't even notice I didn't play it. And I'm like, oh, well, that's, I can't do nothing about it now. I'm just so glad she took sewing back up. She's been depressed a lot since she had her shoulder replaced a few years ago. Wasn't that rolling pin cool? It was. It was really neat how it had all the different designs. I think you said something that would make cool cookies. I think it would too. It's a lot bigger, easier to read. I have... I have a ton of books. You mean ebooks? You can read the ebooks easier on there. That's awesome. I can't remember what all I got for Christmas. I got a necklace from my brother. Oh, I got a Roku streaming device, guys. I was so excited. My mom gave us one early to put in the living room so we could watch. I used to have to take my computer and plug it in um, by HDMI port on my laptop and we'd watch Hulu and stuff on that. And um, she got us all our own Roku device, one for the living room. And I got mine um, on uh, Christmas Eve and got it hooked up uh, the next day on Christmas day. And I actually, um, I helped my grandmother set up hers and I love it. I mean, it, it's all on, um, I watch Hulu mostly. And I've been on a, a home improvement kick because I love Tim, Tim Allen. And I don't remember half of the, the episodes, but I've been on a home improvement kick. And um, last night I was like messing around with it and there was a game on there and I'm like it was a, a casino slot game so I started playing that <laughs> I'm like I didn't know they had games on there <laughs> you love your Roku I was like super excited because now I don't have to connect my computer to my TV anymore Because my mom, I think, um, I don't know if she pays for Philo or not, but we we watch Philo or Philo, however you say it. We watch Hulu, Paramount Plus, and then there's one other one, Disney Plus. And um, I think it was Melanie, the one that just, her name is just Melanie on here on YouTube, told me about the TV show Willow. And me and my aunt got into watching that. There was five episodes available. And, oh, my God, we, we streamed them almost all that same night. And um, there's three more to go. And we, we found out that we're going to – the last two episodes are going to be um, in January. So me and my aunt are going to split and pay for Disney Plus for January so we can finish the uh, Willow TV series. 
Um, I got a lot of dirty dishes and a frozen drain. They added a feature to add your photos to Roku, but I haven't tried it yet. Huh. I didn't know you could. That's something new I just learned. I've been on a French Chateau restoration kick. Love watching them. Aw, oh, that's cool. Yeah. I, that's one of my favorite movies, uh, Ray, is Willow. And it even has some of the old cast, like the one that played um, Sorsha and Willow and one of his friends. Uh, I can't remember the name now, but it even had one of the little brownies on there. I was like, oh, my goodness. It was so cool to, to see some of the cast actually come back for it. Yeah, I've got a couple of the uh, free free channels on there bookmarked too. It's a um, like Crackle and Tubi and I can't remember them all, but there are. A, what the heck is my tablet is not plugged in, I think, for some reason. Oh, no. I don't have my little charger thing. That means my tablet's going to go dead. Um, give me a second, everyone. I got to figure out where I can plug my cord so my tablet don't go dead. Hold on. And hopefully I don't trip on anything. Hopefully that worked. Yeah, it's charging now. I had to steal the... Welcome in, Nisi. Did you have a good Christmas? I had to steal the uh, charging plug to plug the, um, the Roku device in the living room. Because it doesn't come with one of those uh, USB plug things. So... I, I forgot I had stole it from my tablet. <laughs> Did I miss something? Let's see, now it's not wanting to scroll. What is it about? Do you remember? I guess you, you've you never seen the uh, movie Willow, Laura Lee. I know you don't watch a lot of TV or anything. Um, it's, it's kind of like, um, I don't know if you've ever seen Willow, but Willow is a little person. And it's played, he's played by uh, Warwick Davis. And a baby comes up down the river and lands in their area and they go on a quest um, and eventually overthrow an evil queen kind of thing. And this is set like 20 or 30 years later. Hey, Charlie. Yes, like a hobbit. How are you doing, Charlie? Did you have a good Christmas? But it's a pretty good TV show. Me and my aunt, we almost couldn't stop watching it. We watched all five episodes that were available within, um, I think, one night. It, it's directed by Ron Howard, I think. And it's also by George Lucas. He had a part, not a, like played a part, but he had a hand in the series. Um, Ron Howard and then uh, two musical people I think James Horner and James Newton Howard I think finally watched Gone with the Wind and hated it oh <laughs> well some people like it some people don't <laughs> It is a very long movie, though. Mm. 
USB charge only. Okay. Trying to figure out what that symbol was. So did y'all get some good stuff for Christmas that you wanted? I still, like I said, I can't remember everything I got. I know I got the Roku. I got a necklace from my brother. And it has like a K on it. I got the uh, polymer play uh, rolling machine. It's um, it's pretty cool. I used it already. And what else? Oh, some yarn. Mama <laughs> does this little um, game. She makes you put on a glove, close your eyes, and reach into a bag and pull out some yarn. And then uh, she does that. She did that with me, my mom, my aunt, because she uses the Addy that we got, and um, my Aunt Pam. And we all picked out, you know, uh, grabbed, and, and then at the end, if you got something you didn't like, you get to trade it out. And then you go around the room and, and you hold up the one you don't want. You trade somebody for it. And then the next person holds up what they don't want, trade somebody for it. And it was pretty fun. My dad would never let us watch good movies like Gone with the Wind or Dr. Shivago. Yeah. Welcome in, Angela Wright. Still working on your first pair of knitting socks. Well, awesome. Did you have a good Christmas, Angela? I don't remember if I watched Dr. Shivago. I probably have. I like older movies. I almost have my Willow Squares 90 squares together, 30 different colors. Wow. That's a lot of squares. How long have you been working on the willow squares, Laura Lee? <laughs> you got your yarn room for Christmas. That's awesome. I got a yarn ball winder. I was using tin foil tube for a ball winder. Well, I'm happy you got one. That's awesome. Now you get to, to wind your yarn with a brand new ball winder. <laughs> I wanted to return my gift of dirty dishes, but I couldn't. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. It's taken a year. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Well, I'm glad you had a great Christmas, Angela. I'm glad everybody had a pretty good Christmas. Yeah. Have you decided on your name for your, uh, your name? <laughs> Have you decided on a name for the yarn, yarn room? Oh, well, don't, don't text and drive, Charlie. We don't want you getting in a wreck. <laughs> you like my suggestion, Yarny Cafe? <laughs> I thought it was kind of cool. I'll try to send you a picture of the blanket, but I'm not good at that. I do have a Facebook group if you know how to post a picture in a Facebook group, Laura Lee. Um, I mean, if you know how to post a picture on Facebook, you can always just post it there and I can get it. Oh, talk to text. Well, that's good. I'm glad you're not sitting there trying to to actually uh, 
type it out. And that makes me feel a little better. Well, I mean, Laura Lee, if you if you need me to try to help figure out how to uh, send it in an email, um, you go to your email, compose a new email, and usually there's a like a paper clip symbol, and that's to attach an a, a, a attach a picture. Um, or a file or something like that. And you just click the paper clip and then um, you would either click photos or something like that and then uh, click the picture you want and it will add, add it to the email. I don't think she has enough room in there for a little table and a few chairs. It's kind of small, but it'd be her yarny cafe. Ah, uh, I get you, Laura Lee. Yeah, on a on an app on the phone, it's slightly different. So I, I can understand. I've already been putting together the um, new giveaway for January. That's a good idea. I may just make room. <laughs> Especially for porch potatoes. Yep. Be right back. Coffee break. Bring me some, Laura Lee. I got about half a cup. No, I'm just joking. I know you can't. Yeah, and uh, December's giveaway ends on the 31st. So if you haven't entered yet, go and enter for that. Um, it's titled November's Winner, December's Giveaway. And then um, I'll pick the winner for that on January 1st. I just got an email notification that's saying uh, Ray's asked to join my Facebook group, it should approve, uh, it should approve you automatically, Ray. Um, if you, I think it asks you two or three questions. It should automatically approve you. <coughs> Feel free to post whatever you would like on there, you know, animals, plants, and yarny related stuff. And if you ever want any of your projects shared um, on Yarny Cat Spotlight, um, just make sure you put for Yarny Talk Thursday or Yarny Cat Spotlight, and I'll save the picture. Hi, Angie. Welcome in. Uh, do you have a good Christmas? How are you doing? And also, congratulations on winning the seeds from Joe.
Man, I've already been live 30, 30 minutes. Time flies. <clears throat> Hi, Maribel. Do you have a good Christmas? Yes, had a great Christmas, and thank you. I hope that everyone had a great Christmas. Aw. Do you have a good Christmas, Maribel? Got to get my lazy butt up and do something. I hope y'all have a wonderful day. Well, have a wonderful day, Anita. And don't work too hard. <laughs> Welcome in, Kim. Do you have a good Christmas? You're welcome, Maribel. It was pretty good. Um... I keep forgetting what all I got, but the main things I remembered was I got a Roku streaming device that my mom gave each one of us one, one for the living room for my aunt, one for me for my room, and then gave one to mama for her room. Um, and then I got a necklace from my brother and my grandmother gave me a clay rolling machine. Oh, and I got gift cards uh, for fast food restaurants. Uh, that's what I for kept forgetting. Hi, Lulu's Treasure Trove. Welcome in. I'm happy to see you, too. Do you have a good Christmas? Hi, Nancy. Do you have a good Christmas? Kim says, yes, we did. We, we're we all able to make it to dinner this year. Awesome. Yeah, earlier I was talking about the Roku device. I've been on um, on a home improvement kick on Hulu, and something had went, went wrong, and I had to go back to the home screen. And then there was like a casino game that distracted me, and I didn't know there was games on on the Roku, and so I started getting stuck on that, and I played it for a little bit. Yes, we did. We were able to see each other and all went well. That's awesome. <clears throat> and then Tom got scared off for two nights because my aunt that came down from Missouri, um, he was here on Thursday night and then ended up getting scared off and I didn't see him for two nights. I think he showed up and ate and then left because the big RV that was in the driveway kind of scared him because of the um, generator they had running. And so when he showed up Christmas day night, I about cried because I was so afraid he was going to freeze somewhere, you know, be cold. And when he showed up, I said, this is a perfect Christmas present. Tom came to see me and he's okay. <laughs> Nancy says, I had a great time, but so happy it's over. Yeah, I can understand that. And then I gave, uh, I gave each one of, that's what I thought, Nancy. I'm like, what? How is there? You know, I was like confused. I didn't know it had games. And um, I was I started playing it and I got up to like level seven, I think. And I'm like, it's kind of like a. Um, kind of like an app you would download on your phone almost. Do you have the TV? No, it's just a little a Roku um, little device like this, and it plugs in um, the 
to an HDMI port. Hi, Kivia. Did you have a good Christmas? Welcome in. Now, my mom has the Roku TV. Um, she has one. <laughs> That's funny. Had to, sorry, had oxygen delivery. Had to play nice with the humans. <laughs> I have a smart TV. Well, that's awesome, Kivia. Yeah, I think my mom's is is a um, Roku TV. It's it's also where I can. I think you can um, like connect a device through uh, like cast cast the screen or something like that. My aunt gave me, oh, it's moving too fast. Cream goldish cardigan. My mom gave me scrunchies, money, and socks. My older sister gave me amigurumi crochet kit and money. Oh, that's awesome. What is TLC? Well, actually, it's LCT. It's live chat Tuesday. <laughs> um. Because this is originally was scheduled for yesterday, and I got back too late in the day to do it on Tuesday. So uh, I'm so happy Tom came back. That's what. That's why we are all indoors only. Plus, I live in town. Too much traffic. Yeah. I I've been so worried about Tom in the cold because you know he. I don't know where he goes during the day, and I was so afraid he freeze out there. Well, he survived that, that cold front that came in. It's supposed to start warming up again. Um, let's see. Yeah, I have the TV, which is a smart TV, which I have no clue how to work. it. <laughs> I wouldn't know either. I just have a regular LCD, you know, not LCD. Yeah. Ain't it? There's like a LCD TV and then a plasma screen. One of my TV, my TV in the living room is a plasma TV. I have a smart TV, but the only thing I know how to do on it is turn it, turn it on YouTube or Netflix. That's it. Hey, at least you can do that. Yeah. Um. It was a miracle, Lulu. How funny. I do understand what you are saying. Sounds like me for sure. All right, uh, Ray, I'll see you later. You have a good afternoon. <laughs> the TV is smarter than me. <laughs> Hi, Margaret Baker. Welcome in. Did you have a good Christmas? Angie says, after Christmas, my siblings, we went to eat breakfast and shopping. And yesterday, I uploaded a video shopping haul. You did? Well, I'll have to go and try and check it out. If I remember, let me, let me write a note down. And I'll go and... Now, I'm, I may get to it today. I may not. Uh, but as long as I write myself a note, I'll remember. I'm really behind on watching YouTube videos. Okay, so. So. Did you start a channel, Angie? Hi, Brenda Bear. Did you have a good Christmas? Oh, 
Oh, that's awesome, Margaret. I'm glad you had a nice Christmas. And I'm glad you got to see your grandson. <laughs> I know, Nancy. That's that's why I try to write everything in, down in a little notebook instead of like on a scrap piece of paper somewhere because then I lose the paper. If if uh, if I write it in a notebook, I don't lose it as as often. <laughs> My lunch just came, so I'm going to eat. Everyone have a great day. Well, have a good lunch. Um, Laura Lee and uh, have a good afternoon. It was pretty good, Margaret. Um, my aunt, um, I also lose the book. <laughs> oh my goodness, that is a mess. <laughs> put a string on it, get a spiral notebook and put a string on it and leave it tied to it somewhere and then you won't lose it um what was i gonna say um yes we had a nice uh christmas margaret um my aunt came down from missouri and stayed uh she got here wednesday thursday friday saturday she stayed four days three nights and um then it, her son came with her and um, they all went, my grandmother, my, my, my mom's, uh, sister, which is my aunt that came down from Missouri. Uh, that's my aunt Pam. And then my aunt, uh, that moved in with us, my grandmother's sister and my grandmother all went to get their hair cut, uh, on Thursday. And I didn't know all of them were getting their hair cut. So when my mom came back with really short hair. I was surprised. <laughs> um, I knew my, my aunt was gonna get a haircut and my grandmother just got it cut, but I didn't know everybody was getting it cut. So actually this weekend, I'm going to be getting my haircut. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, I had my channel a couple months ago and I, run out of space my last comment when my win with us okay uh so you did start your channel okay well i will definitely have to go and i don't know if i subscribe to you or not i think you might have told me you started a channel i can't remember uh Kirsten is saying hello to everyone she missed. I had to step away and deal with my little King Charles Cavalier from bringing in a field mouse she found in the yard. Woo. Welcome in, Judith. Did you have a good Christmas? And, uh, can't believe it's almost going to be 2023. This year seemed like it went by so fast, much, much more quicker than last year. But beginning next year, um, I'm going to start doing a different lineup with my lives. Um, technically, it's going to be the same people, but I'm just changing them around to different days. And I am adding another new channel, um, Nathalia's Little Hook with Melanie. She's going to be on a Tuesday. Dee's moving to a Friday. Uh, so, because I had more Fridays free than. Tuesdays. I had all my Tuesdays booked. So I think it leaves me with two Fridays open now and instead of three. So uh, D is going to be on a Friday evening. And then Melanie is 
going to be on the third Tuesday of the month. And I believe D is going to be on the third Friday of the month. <laughs> yeah, that's uh that's getting a little bit warmer. I think we're up to like 70 degrees. Send you a calendar with everything written down. <laughs> I can send you an email and maybe you just save the email. <laughs> I can understand that, Lulu. <sighs> okay. I will, uh, I'll send you the lineup, uh, Nancy, of my upcoming schedule for the live. So, you know, I'm still going to be going live Tuesdays and Fridays. Um, now, the first Tuesday of the month is going to be with Sabrina. Um, that's also why we kind of skipped this week. Um, if I would have done the live last, uh, yesterday evening, it would have been like 10 o'clock her time in England. So, and usually that's about the time she starts winding down and getting ready for bed. So I didn't want to have her up too late. And I figured since she's going to be on my channel next week on Tuesday, so, you know, it wouldn't put too much stress on her being on two weeks in a row. Um, and actually, that's the only ones I can remember is Sabrina, um, Melanie, and Dee. Everyone else I kind of swapped around, and, and I'm confirmed that it was okay with everybody, their spot. Now, when I go live with Sabrina, it's going to be at 11.30 a.m., and then Kaylina is going to be at 11.30 a.m., whatever day she is on. So it's uh, two of them are going to be on Tuesday a little earlier than normal than my noon uh, lives. So you're very welcome, Nancy. You know, like if I have to... Um, take medicine, I have to set a timer on my phone, not a timer, an alarm to remind me or I'll forget. So, <laughs> every time I do a live or not, not do one, schedule one at the beginning of the month, I usually schedule them all like all at one time. And I usually have to refer back to my paper. <laughs> to what day it's going to be, what time, I mean, not day, date, what the date is, what number the live is, like this one is number 84. So I always have to, to look back at my paper. I usually end up having three or four live streams running all at the same time, especially on the weekends. Wow. I, I don't know if I could do with all that talking at the same time, <laughs> honestly. I, I could not, I can't focus good enough, like if my brother was sitting in the living room with his phone going and I'm trying to watch a show, that would just drive me nuts. I need to start saving money for more crochet hooks in the new year. If you, um, if you look on Amazon, there is, I think you can find a whole set of metal, um, I mean, aluminum crochet hooks for like, I think under $7. So you might want to try, uh, try checking there. 
Do not have them turned up loudly. Well, you have to have them at least 30% um, for them to get the watch hours. So keep that in mind, uh, Cindy. I focus on one at a time, most times two at a time. Wow. I can hardly keep track of one live and it's chat. Yeah. Me, me too. Is that even on lives? Yes, I believe so. Um, at least that's what I've heard. Like if you watch it on mute, they don't get the watch time or anything. Now, um, and I've heard that you have to have the volume at least 30% for it to count the watch time. But I, I really don't honestly know 100%. I don't know. So it's just what I've heard. No, I do not turn it on mute. Okay. Well, uh, was it Monday? Yeah, Monday I made some more crochet hooks. Um, Thrist and Stitches ordered six from me. And another lady ordered one. I've made four out of the seven. So I'm probably going to be making more crochet hooks today. Uh, the, the remaining three I have to make are for thrifts. So, yay. I can leave it all the way up on here and just turn my speaker down on my computer. Yeah, that would work, I think. Hey, Lisa, coping with yarn. How are you? Do you have a good Christmas? Thank you for the Christmas card. Y'all looked very, very cute. You can actually leave the volume up all the way on the YouTube video itself and just turn down the volume on the computer. Yeah, I think you can. Um, I think that that would work, too. Man, my glasses. I just realized there's a spot on them. Tom showed up last night and he bit me hard. I, I heard a crunch and he got me right there in between my fingers. That was his bottom tooth that got me there. And the top one was up here. So he kind of bit me like that. And then he loves on my hand and then plops on the ground on his side and then starts doing like this. So. I guess it was supposed to be a love bite. I mean, he's like I have been saying for the last however long he bites me, but I, I don't think he realizes how hard he's doing it. Oh, that's awesome. Lisa, you've got a circular knitting needle set. That's awesome. You're very welcome. I got a clay rolling machine from my grandmother, and I actually tried it out when I made the crochet hooks the other day. It's pretty cool. I bought some knitting needles from Dollar General and Dollar Tree. Awesome. I think my grandmother actually got some of the knitting needles from Dollar General um, a couple of months back. Hi, Miss Debbie LW. Welcome in. Did you have a good Christmas? 
She says, I got a circular knitting set too. Knitter's Pride. Awesome. A clay roller sounds like a nice tool to have. It it is. I uh, I used I have a rolling pen that I use to flatten out um, after I've kind of uh, molded the three colors together. And um, but the uh, the clay rolling machine stretches it out too far to actually make it to where I can wrap it around the hook. <laughs> I guess only way I can describe it makes it too thin, but I can use it to help kind of knead the clay into where I can work with it. You saw the knitting needles at Dollar Tree. I can only guess Santa didn't get my letter. No Addy knitting machine for me. Oh, I'm so sorry, Kim. Maybe next Christmas, I hope. Had a nice video chat with my daughter and grandson and visited with chosen family. Had a quiet Christmas, but was good. Hope your Christmas was good with your loved ones. Yes, it was pretty good. Thank you. Someone knitted with the yarn. Someone knitted with the yarn there with the needles hanging out. What? <laughs> I'm confused. Someone knitted with the yarn there with the needles hanging out. I don't know. You mean you got it with somebody already knitted on it? Actually, you can. Um, the uh, clay roller has a knob on the side where I can um, do the thickest or thinnest to roll it out. Um, but my stripes, okay, this is, let me see if I can get this one. This is one of the wrists that I just made. Um, she chose white. All hers are going to be black and gray with different colors is what she wanted. So these stripes, there we go. If, because the way I do it, it thinned out the stripes this way and I couldn't wrap it around. It made it too thin, even on the thickest setting. Um, so. I just, uh, I had to redo one of them. Welcome back, Nancy. Yeah, this is one of the ones that Thris ordered. Um, she ordered six of them from me uh, last week. And this is the one, it's a 3.5. You can't see it too well because it's blue writing here, 3.5. I had a light bulb go out in my room this uh, last night, so... But this is white, gray, and black. All the ones she wanted, wanted uh, the, what am I trying to say? The two same colors with one different on each. And it was gray and black that she, she wanted the same. Um, and then I have a, I have two more done. And I have to make her three more because she ordered six. This one is gray, back, black, and pink. It's a 4.0. And the phone is ringing. I don't know if y'all can hear the phone. <laughs> and the other one is gray, black, and red. And it's a 4.5. But I think the other ones is a 5.5, .5, a 6, and a 7 that I have to make. And then one's going to be orange. One's going to be purple. What was the other color she chose? Purple, orange, and something. I can't remember. 
And then this is the other ladies. Um, it's red, purple, and red, purple, and blue. Thank you, um, Lisa and, uh, let's see, Judith, thank you, and Miss Debbie LW, thank you. Which, which one do you want me to show, Kim? Uh, bye, Nisi, thanks for stopping in. I hope you have a good afternoon. I'm attempting Connie's knit along with my new needle set now that I got small, smaller link or uh, whatever it's called. You mean the um, cable that's in between? You mean show it up like this? The hook end. Okay. Well, let me get a little bit bigger uh, size hook. Hold on. These are the tapered. I do have Susan Bates. Um, but most of the ones I have are just like this, the tapered ones. But I do have a few Susan Bates ones, if you prefer uh, Susan Bates. Well, you should try it, Kivia. It's kind of fun. I would suggest getting the um, oven baked clay, either Sculpey or um, Fimo is kind of hard to work with. But there's different types of clay out there. If you have, there's also this clay I got from Dollar General. It's Crafter's Closet, and I used this for the first time the other day. Um, Crafter's Closet oven baked clay, and it comes with like four different colors, or you can buy one that's just white. There's like two or three different kinds like this. Like this one has... Uh, tan gray brown and black in it um now it says to bake at 250 for 15 minutes for each one fourth of an inch but i had to do part of the clay that i used and that was hobby lobby's brand and then some of that so, and they both bake at different temperatures. So it just kind of depends. I kind of went in the middle, um, but Sculpey usually bakes at uh, 275. Yeah, I... Um, I, I don't use Susan Bates too often, but I do have a couple of sizes set back in case people ordered them. So, because uh, I know not everybody uses the tapered, you know, some people like the inline and that's what uh, Susan Bates is. It's the inline. I haven't been to a dollar store in a long time. I guess it's time to check out what they have. At mine. Yeah, you never know. You might find some yarn. Some Dollar Generals carry them. Uh, some Dollar Trees carry them. It took forever for our Dollar Tree to actually get yarn. Because <laughs> they, would, they would not keep their stuff stocked. 
really. My tablet it just kind of froze on me. There we go. So let's see. I yeah, I can understand that, Kim. Me, personally, it splits the yarn too much, I think, um, for me. But do you hold it like a pencil or a knife holder? I think that also um, depends on... Just heard a noise over there. <laughs> so weird. Um, it also depends on, I think, how you hold it, whether it's a knife or a pencil using the, the crochet hooks, the Susan Bates or the boy in line or tapered. Some people like them, some people don't give you. Now, the Furl's Odyssey hook, I have one size of that and I absolutely love it. It's a, a six or a 6.5, I can't remember. But it's like the perfect combination of a Susan Bates and a boy hook. Now, this is what I said about it. A Susan Bates and a boy hook got married and they had a baby. And that's the Furl's Odyssey. <laughs> the best of both types of crochet hooks. I noticed the other day that my clover hooks heads are slightly smaller than my Susan Bates, even though the hook size and shafts are the same. They might be um, done a little bit different, maybe, or had a different mold. That's what I'm trying to think of, a different mold. Knife holder mainly. Well, that's, that's like me, but I find maybe it's the way I do the do it. It splits the yarn too much for me. But it also depends on what you learned on and what you're used to. Nancy likes the Odyssey hook. Or she says, love the Odyssey hook. <laughs> Lisa uses the boy and clover. And Kivy is a knife holder. You know, I'm a knife holder. My grandmother and my mom are both pencil holders. They tried to teach me that way and I can crochet that way if I have to, but I feel like I go 10 times slower than, than, uh, being a knife holder. Yeah, they do, Kim. They, um, they're more like a Susan Bates, but they do have the curve like a, um, boy. That's why I said it's the best of both of them. I have been wanting to try a Furl's Odyssey, but the size and color I want has been out of stock. Yeah, I have noticed that they've been out of stock recently. I've kind of looked around. I ain't got the money to buy, but I was thinking I did get some money for Christmas that I could splurge and get me like a 4.5 or a 5, and they didn't have any. <laughs> didn't that were in sock. I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> and all the furls that I have, I actually was gifted. So Lisa is a knife holder. Kim don't have any furls. Now, the, the streamline two that I have, the resin, I think is what they are, um, they're more like a Susan Bates than the, the Odyssey is. 
but they I haven't cr uh, tried to crochet with those yet. I've always went to the Odyssey hook. I always wanted to win a girl's Odyssey hook myself there. Well, keep trying, Kivia. You might one day. They just had some the sales on furls. Yeah, I think I checked that out when they had the sale going on or sale, a sale. Then I looked at, I think it was Mary Maxim or Hirschner's. Maybe it was Lion Brand. I looked. And uh, when they, ha I got some emails from the sales that they had going on and I didn't really find anything, nothing I couldn't live without anyway. But, but I did jump on that box of tea when, um, that I showed yesterday in my happy mail video, um, that box of tea was originally like $12 and I got it for free just by adding two skeins of yarn at regular price. So I thought that was pretty cool. $12 value for free. Also a knife holder. I had a hand injury 24 years ago and had to relearn how to hold a pen and write the knife grip is easier for me I have tried pencil style but it but it wasn't comfortable yeah I can understand that I can I can do I can crochet like a pencil holder but I go super super slow I can crochet faster as a knife holder I would love to hear your opinion after you have used them all to compare them then I will know which I might like better. Oh, well, that's, that's sweet of you to value my opinion like that. Where is what, Nancy? Oh, you mean the, the tea? It was at Lion Brand. Um, on their website, I got an email, um, saying for a limited time, I think the sale is over now, but if you buy two skeins of yarn at full price, um, that is not on sale and you add the tea, the box of tea, um, to your cart, you get it for free. And I got the cheapest two skeins possible just so I could get the tea because that was an awesome deal. $12 for, for free. And all I had to do was pay like 286 or 268 for the yarn. And that was for both of them. Cause they were like a dollar and something each. And so I got 48 bags of individual tea for free, eight different kinds but um, sign up for all the different sites. Like I know Premier, Hirschner's, Lion Brand. There's another site, Mary Maxim. Sign up for their email mailing list. Um, and you'll get notified of the different sales they have. If you're not um, yet, because I get emails two or three times a day probably from the same company. I always appreciate hearing hook comparisons and reviews. I don't need any more, but I can't help but want to hear what others think. Hmm. I never actually thought about doing hook reviews.
Hmm. Man, that where Tom got me really hurts. I think he got me on a, a ligament or muscle. Well, I know he on the top right here, he got me on a ligament, but in between my finger, it really hurts when I move it a certain way. He got me good. What I just, I don't, I like I said, I don't understand why he bites me so hard, but I think he meant it as a love bite because then he loved on my hand and then plopped on the ground on his side. So I, I think he was meaning it lovingly. He just bit me way too hard. Yeah, a tendon, muscle or something. I think so. I actually worked with crochet thread um, while my Aunt Pam was here from Missouri. And she asked me to help her make a doll dress um, out of crochet thread. She wanted me to try to have um, help her through the pattern because she couldn't understand it very well. So we each got a ball of crochet thread, a size 2.5 millimeter crochet hook and both tried to sit down and make it she had a little bit of trouble but I think she eventually got the hang of it I kind of got to a part in the pattern and I said well this is not making sense so I kind of changed it up a little bit so I kind of went off script I went off the pattern did my own thing and it was supposed to have sleeves. I didn't put sleeves, but I'll be showing it on, on the Yarny Talk Thursday. I am super proud of myself uh, for using that small of a hook and crochet thread. It made my hand hurt <laughs> for a day or two afterwards, but I'm very proud of it. I, I haven't made anything like that out of crochet thread. I've made, you know, like little doilies, but I use like a 3.5. So that was very interesting to do. <laughs> like this one that I've made. I made this when I first started crocheting. Oh, no. Now, this is made out of crochet thread. But it's with like a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook so it's it's bigger stitches than normal hi Melanie how are you do you have a good Christmas and then I have another one that I did that is uh purple I think Oh, my goodness. An hour and 20 minutes. Well, I think I'll probably ra be wrapping it up here in a few minutes. And then I got to find a light bulb to put in that ceiling because uh, it's a lot darker in here. I had to open the, the window so I'd have a little bit of light. I didn't ask what anybody was working on. So what is everybody else working on? I'm still also working on my knit shawl. I'm designing shawl or wrap. I haven't, I don't know what it's going to be yet. 
You're still here, Cindy? Okay. Well, I appreciate you sitting there lurking. I just figured out what's popping over there. It's my K-cups. <laughs> I guess the temperature. It's making them pop. <laughs> I just finished my aunt's Japanese knot bag. I posted a video showing it off. Aww. Well, that's awesome. I'm working on Connie's knitted hat and hexagon blanket. Oh, that's cool. I knew you were doing Connie's hat and, um, or Connie's knit along, but I didn't know you were working on a hexagon blanket. That's awesome. Starting over on a sweater for my, for my mom, the first try fit so far, but I'm not happy with it. Oh, I can understand that. The red sweater that I made, uh, not sweater, cardigan, the red cardigan I made, I gave to my grandmother uh, for Christmas. I just started the hexagon last night. It was Crystal Bago Day's pattern. Awesome. I think I remember that, the Japanese knot bag. It was awesome to see you today doing the envelope border on the hag stitch blanket I made with Dana's crochet along. Aw, that's awesome. Um, it was uh, great to see you, Kim. And uh, are you having fun with Dana's crochet along? I had a beautiful Christmas. I am working on a diamond painting. Knocked over the drills, resorting res them out. Oh, I bet that's a mess, Melanie. Oh, I feel sorry for you. I think my mom spilt it one time, and she she finally um, decided she was going to put everything in little zipper bags and um, only take a few out of time as she needed them. Oh, thank you, Nancy. That's sweet of you. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, Lisa says she made her first slippers and socks. Oh, Melanie, thank you. All right, you got an entry for the monthly giveaway. Um, so there we go. And I did last Tuesday, um, I added all the names in, uh, from the super chat, super stickers and the new members, uh, they're all in there. Oh, the cro crochet along is done. I am just finishing the border. Well, that's awesome. But did you have fun doing the crochet along? Oh, thank you, Nancy. All righty. Uh, thank you, Margaret. Hold on. I'm, I'm getting behind here. Okay, so Nancy. M-A-C. <laughs> I remember... All right, and Margaret. Baker. All righty. So there's, did, wait, did, I got everybody, right? Didn't I? Yeah, Melanie, okay. 
Good. All right. And I'll write up the tickets and put them in the, the bag for the giveaway uh, drawing. And um, technically I'm, I'm caught up on everything. I've, I've written all the names down from the comments and all the super chats I do that day. So those will be going in um, this evening. And if you hadn't left a comment on the video, it's November's winner slash December's giveaway. Go leave a comment and I'll write that down on a ticket and I draw the winner on January 1st. And then later that day, I'll be posting January's giveaway. So kind of excited. Mama and me has already gotten everything together for uh, January's. Well, most of it, about 90% of it's together. For the new giveaway. So. I think I was able to pick most of them off the floor. Have most of them sorted after two days. Oh my goodness. That is. That's. I hope you didn't lose any. The cal. Okay I already read that comment. Yes, I did enjoy the crochet along with Dana. The hag stitch is really nice. Awesome. That is awesome. Oh, I'm about ready to need more coffee. Oh, L Lisa. I'm still using the cup you gave me. I use it at least once a week. <laughs> My TARDIS cup. Oh, Kim, thank you. Y'all don't let me leave without playing my super chat video. Or my thank you video, as I call it. No, I, I, I don't have time for a crochet along. <laughs> I thought about trying to do a crochet along on my channel. I just have not had time. All right, Kim. There you go. Got you in the, the mix. Thank you so much. Yeah. you, Me and my Doctor Who, where is it? This is... Doctor Who, that's the magicians, uh, the TV show based on the book by Lev Grossman, Grossman, I don't know how you say its last name, but uh, my two favorite shows behind me. <laughs> Making you a cup of uh, after afternoon tea. Mm -hmm which has your caffeine boost. Yep. I do love this cup. I'm very careful with it. I, I try not to put it in the sink where like if mama or me are do, doing dishes, I try to leave it out and then wash it separate because I don't want it breaking or you know, the handle come off or something. <laughs> yes, Melanie. Oh, my God. The ending just kind of, like, left it open. I think they need to do a TV show. I mean, a, a movie after the TV show ended. <laughs> it was a TV show. <laughs> uh, Y'all get a good laugh. <laughs> Okay, Hannah has now adopted a new kitty that was homeless, and now she lives in our backyard. Oh, that is sweet. Yeah, I was uh, I was hoping they'd end it a little better myself, Melanie. Um, but you know, I haven't finished the book, so I don't know how the book ended. The third book. So I still have to, yes, bring back Gwenton. Yes, he was one of my favorite ones on there. And then when they killed him off, I'm like, no, that's wrong. 
<laughs> and I kept thinking, man, they'll bring him back. They'll bring him back. Nope, they never did. They kind of just left it up in the air, you know, never gave real closure. So. I think that would be cool, though, to for them to do a movie. You know, and the guy that used to play, oh, I could see his face. What is his name? Hale Appleman, the one that played, uh, oh, yes, I'm on a live. Make sure you call me when you get done or come get me. Okay. I got something to tell you that's crazy. Okay. That happened to Aunt Pam in a minute. Okay. Um, anyway, uh, I can't remember his, his name. He's that guy right there. Anyway. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, Welcome in, Cindy. Pass my quote. I'm actually fixing to wrap up here in a few minutes. I was trying to finish um, a thought. God, what is his name? He was uh, Margot's friend. I um, can never remember his name. Anyway, I saw him on American Horror Story, the, the newest season. I was like, what? He has not been on anything, and there he is. I'm like, wow. And then I saw somebody else on something. But for them to, you know, just pop up on a show. Happy New Year to you too, Angela. Yes, yes. Yes, Melanie. Um... Doesn't it start with an E or something? That's going to drive me insane until I look up his name. I hate when my, my mind don't work right. Elliot. Elliot. I knew I, it started with an E. Elliot. I think. Anyway. Now that I thought of that. All right. So I'm going to go. But first I am going to play my thank you video. So here we go. Y'all get to see Tom. My Tom Tom. <laughs> All right. Thank you, everyone, for joining me today on a Wednesday. And uh, I hope y'all have a wonderful afternoon. Uh, if I should have a live at 3 p.m. on Friday. And uh, so, yeah, y'all can join me then. That's my last live of the year. And so, yes. Take care. Stay safe. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for the super chats. And um, y'all have a wonderful afternoon. Take care. Bye-bye.